Hey guys, so today on Being Eli, I'm gonna do another cigar review, and this time it's one bringing in a candela leaf, although in a barber bowl, but needless to say, I love a good candela. So today we're doing the Alec Bradley Filthy Hooligan Black Market. Love this cigar, come see what it's all about. specifically uh, listed. So we'll see if that brings forth anything in the flavor profile that is a little different. Uh, this first little bit that we're going through, the candela leaf is really the one that stands out the most. It's grassy, it's light, it's welcoming, no pepper. This is going to be one of those cigars that, again, if you're new to cigars or you're wanting to get off of having Connecticut on every smoke, you might want to try this. It's very friendly. It brings about a medium body, but a lot of flavor. Um, and again, no pepper. I think pepper is what makes cigars tend to be hard for some people to smoke. Uh, as they get into them now, I don't mind, especially some white pepper, some black pepper, I don't really like. As long as it's not too strong, I, I'll do, deal with it. There is a little sense of some spice 
especially on the retro hail and even on the roof rub. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say something along the lines of some cardamom. Um, and I know that's a, a really bizarre spice to, to pick up on because I do get some of your other baking spices. Uh, maybe a touch of cinnamon, a touch of nutmeg, but that cardamom, that kind of, again, that kind of warm, rounded sense of, of smell and, and taste.
very accurate and good. And while there's always going to be a room for interpretation because everybody's tastes are different, it can even depend on what you're pairing it with to drink. For me, spices tend to be, to be the elusive ones because I kind of bunch together cinnamon and nutmeg and clove, caramel, that's a little different, but I kind of tend to put them all together. So if you ever hear me say baking spices, it's kind of like that mix of all of them in one. And, and you just get a sense that you're standing in grandma's kitchen and you know, there's cookies being baked and it just smells outstanding. That hint of cardamom is starting to come through more on the roof rub too. I'm gonna say cloves and maybe actually an herbal quality. Cloves, uh, some, a touch of nutmeg, the cardamom, and again, I'm gonna put that back on the Sumatran, but that might be from that Panamanian leaf. It very well might be. This cigar is gonna last me 45 minutes if I'm lucky. So I kind of have to nurse it along so that it doesn't go too fast. Um, it's delightful either way. It, and that's what makes it a nice like morning smoke or uh, maybe like an after lunch. Maybe you only have a short time to enjoy a smoke in between meetings or going down the road. This is a nice one to have because it makes you feel like you're having a full size cigar. You are. But it, it's not going to sit there and linger. There's a little bit of an herbal effect to this also on the retro hail that starts to tie into the roof rub, but I get it more on the, on the retro hail. Kind of like black tea. You know, we mentioned it had a, a slight coffee and the, the kind of milk chocolate flavor, and it does. But again, between the, the draw, the intake of the, of the smoke, and the chewing of it, the retro hail, and then the roof rub, you've got three choices, three opportunities to taste different things coming out. And this cigar does not fail there. It absolutely doesn't. It's really nice. It, it gives you a whole plethora of flavors to, to take a look at, especially if you're trying to build your profile. These are built in limited release also. About 2,000 boxes go out, so not, not a huge market. So when you see them, if you think you want to try it, go ahead and get it. Put it in your humidor. Let it age. I would love to think I had the discipline to put one of these in my humidor and let it age a couple years. Just as a side note, guys, I do not have that discipline. The only time I've had aged cigars was when somebody else gave one to me. And they do, I will say, if you ever get to try one, do it. Or if you have the discipline to age one, do it. The flavors are very clean tasting. I think that'd be the best way to... And they're very pure, very clear. They are bright and true by the time you age that cigar. They really come through and taste exactly as the grower intended them to taste. So this was the week of the solar eclipse. Did any of you see it? If so, comment below, let me know. I was driving, of course, and most of the day was kind of cloudy, at least until I got up past Corbin, Kentucky. And, uh, and then the sun kind of poked through, but it was almost directly over top. So I was taking my phone and trying to take pictures of the sun, but it had already, it had already happened. And when the eclipse was going on, I did notice that there was a shift in the light through the clouds, but couldn't see anything. But a lot of people that I talked to in uh, Ohio said that they were able to see it. And even some people in Tennessee said they saw it too. So kind of a cool experience, has not it? Right in the middle of this cigar, again, the, the candela is at the forefront. It's what's pulling this whole flavor train along the whole way. It's not changing. On the retrohale, that herbal quality is really coming out. That black tea, if you like black, like earl gray tea, this is your cigar right here. 
Club is where I'm now getting that kind of light coffee grind and milk chocolate flavor. It's, it's very mild. It's not overpowering. It's not heavy at all. It's just, it's, it's like having a little after dinner mint. <laughs> if any of you guys ever have a specific question about a cigar, something you've been wondering, whether it is the etiquette of cigars, you know, obviously I try to go over different aspects of cigars with each of my reviews, but if there's a question you guys have ever had about a cigar, let me know and I will certainly address that in upcoming videos. I always like getting the cigar choices, the requests that people want me to, to do. Uh, sometimes it's just a matter of finding those cigars. I do have a tobacconist that I want to go to in order to pick up the budget-friendly cigars. That was something I've been asked to do. So I'm going to choose uh, roughly four or five cigars that are below $5, preferably even below $3 but no more than $5 a stick. So your truly budget-friendly cigars that are still good. Stay in touch. If you've put in a cigar review, I have heard you and I promise I'm working on it. So the little short band I'm gonna take off first. Here's my thing about bands. When it comes to etiquette, it also should be personal preference. Telling you what you should like and how you should do it. So you should leave your bands on until you smoke that cigar close to that band. Here's why. For one, if you're smoking with other people and you've all got, you know, these various cigars, but they're they're all Maduros, let's say. They all look different. And you set them down and buy an ashtray or wherever. You want to know which one's yours. You don't want to be putting somebody else's stick in your mouth. Comments now. Be complete. Or don't. So it's it's verifying. It's kind of like wine drinkers who put the little bracelet, the tag at the bottom of the stem. Um, it's so you know whose is whose. But also, it can protect your fingers. Cigars are not like cigarettes in that they're gonna just turn your hands brown. I mean, I smoke a lot. I mean, I'm clean and my nails are painted right now, but I don't have brown fingernails. I don't have weird looking skin. And cigarette smokers will get that. Their whole face changes, I mean, you know, all their skin. Because it's, it's really, really bad. Now, I suppose if I was like some Winston Churchill type guy, smoked all day long, eh, there would probably be an effect. I'm not gonna delude myself to thinking that there wouldn't be. But overall, I like to think that the band protects my fingers. The other thing it can do, let's say you're a working person. So if I have gone to fuel up or I have to like add coolant to to the truck every now and then, if I happen to have grease and dirt on my hands, I don't want that getting on my cigar leaf and changing the flavor, let alone I really don't want to be inhaling any of those items. So in that case, if you've not had a chance to wash your hands, the cigar band can also protect your cigar from you. So there's three reasons why it is etiquette, uh, but also you, you, you should just do it. Just do it, just leave the band on. Do not ever get a cigar and then just take the band off. Don't do it. All right, so I'm getting down to the last end here. And I've already been smoking it an hour, you guys, so I gotta eat my words. I said this cigar might last 45 minutes. It had kind of a strong start to it. It, it seemed like it was smoking fast, but I've still got a little left. It's starting to rain here, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do the end of this this review for you in case I really do have to kind of pay attention. Uh, this cigar has been very consistent, very consistent the whole way through. The herbal qualities, the grassiness, the, the sweetness, uh, the light hint of milk chocolate and coffee grinds, uh, just they're all there. If you like 
we have signed our papers for our construction loan, so we are going to be starting to build our home soon. We'll be breaking ground before the end of this month, it sounds like. So as things really get going, I am probably going to do some videos or at least some, some progress videos so you can see how it's coming along. And uh, so we'll have that content. My husband with his channel, Bearded Reap, he's been on a little bit of a hiatus because of works things going on. But with this house being built, he used to be a contractor, so we're going to be doing a lot of the work. And uh, he'll be putting out some videos as well. So if you like construction and do it yourself and building and that kind of stuff, stay tuned for those videos and check out his channel, Bearded Breeden. That's B R E E D E N. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. I hope it's warming up where you are. And on that note, I think I'm going to say stay fascinating. Take a breath. <laughs>